Jurassic World, powered by Eggman's. What is up guys, Milik here, and today we are back in action playing some Jurassic World, and it's going to be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button, I'd really appreciate it, and it'll help me out tremendously. Uh, so, what we are going to be doing today is, uh, I was thinking of a new power source, so... I was thinking, how about we make some gas power generators? So I'm gonna make a few of these and then we're gonna work on getting the full setup. Now, I haven't played with this uh, at all, ever. So I don't know the proper ratios or anything like that. So we're gonna be doing some experimenting and um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Also, uh, I forgot to mention this last time, but uh, I think Hayes, or no, Cole, uh, Colindra left me uh, this guy, the little mech suit, which is cool. You can press R to get into its inventory. And I guess uh, he put some gas and some miniature yellow hearts in here, which is awesome. It also has a diamond drill and a diamond excavator. So he said it was like a portable, um, what do you say? Let's see. Made you a backpack, sort of. Uh, <laughs> get in, press R to open the inventory. Break with uh, left click, and they keep their inventory, uh, Kalindra. Nice. So um, apparently I can use this to dig and stuff. I have used this before way in the past. I think back in... Um, uh, attack of the B team whenever me and German did attack of the B team uh, I, we made one of these but I had that was a long time ago that was quite a while ago I think that was over a year ago um, anyway so that's cool we'll probably end up using that at some point anyways I want to make some gas burning generators let's go ahead and we need to make this guy so we need a rich alloy osmium dust gold dust and iron dust well fortunately I went ahead and made some of this stuff let's see we have uh, that and then we also need, let's see, gold dust and iron dust. Okay. And then what else do we need? We need some of this stuff right here, right? Uh, where's this stuff at? This stuff? No, we have it right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. We need, um, I'm going to make 10 of these guys. Now, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, like I said, I don't know how many we need. So uh, we might end up needing less or more or whatever. Anyways. Uh, so now we need, uh, what does this require? This requires osmium ingots, steel casing, enriched alloy. Uh, so I need a little bit more enriched alloy. Well, fortunately for me, I have some redstone and I've been smelting some of this stuff up. And then I kind of want to, I want to get into maybe applied energistics. We might do basic applied energistics today because I want to get rid of all of this stuff right here. All of these blocks right here. And then I want to move my machines to down here. Uh, so that's probably what we'll do. Also, I was thinking our power source could go like maybe right here in the middle, something like that. And then we could have wires go up on the edges right here uh, the way they were before and then kind of like jump across. And then we can have it go in back behind of it and that kind of stuff. Uh, so I needed osmium, right? Let's go ahead and grab a couple stacks of osmium. One and two. And then let's come over here. And I forgot this automatically. Oh. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch of reinforced alloy as well. Uh, so, let's go ahead and make this. We should have everything we need, right? Uh, block of steel. Why do I have blocks of steel? You know what? You know what? We'll we'll make steel casings. I know I have some somewhere, but uh, we'll make them. Until we get in me, it's probably going to be pretty hard to, <laughs> to, to find everything. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. And I need 20 of these guys. There we go. 9, 10, uh, 20. I know I skipped from 9 and 10 to 20, but that is fine. There we go. And we got 10. Wow, that was actually perfect. Um, okay, so we're actually going to power this with a power source called, uh, I think, Ethylene. Um, several of the other guys on the server, I think Alien and also Sidarius, have both used Ethylene. I don't know if anyone else has. Uh, I haven't checked out anyone's bases recently, so we need to actually go do that at some point. Um, and I was thinking about maybe showing some of the other guys' bases on camera. Uh, so anyways, we got all the gas burning generators. So next up, we actually need another crusher. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a crusher. So for a crusher, we need steel casings, lava buckets, basic control circuits, and redstone. And the crusher, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put our uh, rotten flesh from our mob farm inside the crusher to make biofuel. And then biofuel and hydrogen makes ethylene. I'll show you guys how to make hydrogen here in a little bit. Oh, yeah, I need to uh, get some stuff. Also, someone said that netherrack is cheaper on this. So we might put some netherrack in here and test that out here in a little bit as well. If I remember, that is. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this, some of this. And then we needed four pieces of redstone and two basic control circuits to make one crusher. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and stick these guys back in here. 
And then, uh, so we have the crusher. Uh, now we need pressurized react, a reaction chamber? Yes, a pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, this guy. Uh, so this requires an enrichment chamber, two basic control circuits, and all of this stuff. So uh, this actually looks pretty easy, except for I need some steel. So I guess I'm going to go off and craft some stuff, and I will be back. Okay, so I have the dynamic tanks, and I think I have everything else besides that. So let's go ahead and stick these guys here. And I figured by now, I mean, it's like been such a long time. They should have fixed the non-stackable things, actually. I mean, maybe there's something like really weird where it won't work, but I, I whenever I press the question mark and want to auto-complete a recipe, I feel like that problem's been here forever and someone would have fixed it by now or at least figured out a solution or something. Uh, anyway, so we have this now. So uh, now we need to make hydrogen. Okay, so we're making a electrolytic separator. This is what you need. You put water in this and it separates the water into hydrogen and oxygen. We only need the hydrogen though. So uh, yeah, now we need a way to make water. And I think for now we could use a pump, but I was thinking, how about we just use something that's free? Uh, let's make an aqueous accumulator. So this guy, uh, we just need a machine frame, copper gears, glass, and a bucket. So I'm pretty sure we have all of this as, as kind of like spare stuff. Uh, so let me go make this real quick. Okay, so I've made the aqueous accumulator. We're gonna go ahead and have water go in and then on top of the aqueous accumulator, Oh, also, if you guys don't know what this is, pretty much if you guys know about the vanilla uh, water mechanics, the 3x3 water source right here, uh, this pretty much acts as the middle infinite water source. So, And then it can actually output its water into other machines and things like that. So we want to go ahead and stick. Uh, hopefully, I'm not sure if the electrolytic separator will accept water from the bottom, and apparently it does. Okay, so uh, we got water right here. Now we just need to give it energy to boost it off to start making hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, but we want to, let's go ahead and we want it to dump oxygen. So how do we tell it to dump oxygen? Let's see, dumping. Okay, so it'll dump oxygen. Now, what we want to do is, my question is, can it stick the hydrogen directly into this? So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but if it can, then that's going to make the setup super easy because then I can actually take the crusher. I'm going to take the crusher, put it right there, and then we're going to stick a hopper on top of the crusher like so. And then we're going to stick our cash uh, on top of that guy like so. Um, so it should start putting rotten flesh inside of the crusher like so. Uh, then we want this to output out the bottom. Let's see. Uh, we want. Uh, so what is the output right here? The blue. The blue. Uh, so we just want to say blue right there. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and hook some power. So I went ahead and made some elite universal cables. Uh, I'm going to stick, hmm, see, I think this is the only output from the sides, which is going to suck because it's going to mess up my perfectly symmetrical setup here. Uh, but actually, no, we want to get rid of these guys. Let me get rid of these guys. Um, I thought we could start using mechanism pipes for everything. Uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and just stick these guys right here, and then we can actually hook up power from our system. Okay, I'm back. So we got the power hooked up. Uh, everything seems to be working now. What I want to test is I've never used these pressurized tubes before, so I want to see, does this work? Okay, so this actually works. So it's putting hydrogen in here. It looks like this automatically uh, ejects. Um, so we can keep kind of like our symmetrical little setup here, which is nice. Um, so it looks like this auto ejects. Uh, what is this doing? So that is doing this. This is filled up. This is not accepting. Why? Why? Okay, let's tell why. Why did you stop accepting? Okay, so... You're continually doing that. Uh, you should start to make the things. Why you know make things? Uh, hydrogen and biofuel should make the to ethylene. Okay, so I have finally got it. So this guy, the PRC actually needed water. Um, so I had to move this up one so I could do a pipe in the back because we actually want to eject the ethylene out of the front. But look at this, we're actually making ethylene, guys. So this is the power source that we need to uh, in the gas burning generators. Now, what I want to do is we probably want to do maybe uh, the gas burning generators. Uh, hmm, how do we want to do this? So we could do it in the middle, then maybe have power go along the bottom or have power go along the top and do the gas in the bottom. Uh, hmm, maybe, maybe we will do it like just like this. So what is this right here? Uh, okay, so it looks like can power not go out the bottom? Man, I hate machines that you can't do certain things with, but uh, we'll just have to play with it and find out. Let's see. So that is five, 
and then I guess we'll just have it extend out this way something like this yep something like that uh, let's go ahead and grab this one right here and uh, let's do this now I don't know actually probably want to probably want to do want to do is maybe do like three and then have it buffer also these guys produce I think 320 RF a tick or something like that uh, something like that uh, we'll we'll see exactly here in a second but let's just go ahead and do elite pressurized tubes and then we want to do this like right like right there um, and then how do we where does this actually output at where does this output does it output in a way that I don't understand okay we're back so thanks to dragon lover here I didn't realize but if you go into the config there is an energy one there's a fluid one and then there's also a gases one um, <laughs> yeah so I didn't notice the gases one on the right so we had to uh, do a separate little thing for that but I mean that's actually kind of convenient that you can do multiple things on each side uh, so my perfect little symmetrical setup here actually works now this guy is producing power um, So what we want to do is probably have the power go back into the system uh, Then we can disconnect this guy right here So let's just go ahead and do elite universal cables all along the bottom and then I guess we'll go ahead and do this now I don't think we're producing enough rotten flesh right now to keep up, but everything else should be fine uh, so we have all the gas burning generators right there, and then uh, we want to stick the actual uh, pressurized tubes on top, and these guys will start to produce power, uh, which is awesome. Now, what I want to do is let's take this Tesseract, and we're going to stick the Tesseract right here, and then we're going to say meaty mob drops, uh, set frequency, uh, receiving uh, no fluids, uh, no energy, but items, only receiving items. So we should start receiving rotten flesh in here as well. Um, uh, hopefully anyways and I was thinking I might actually increase this to maybe be three stories tall or something that way We get a little bit more rotten flesh and still when I'm not around It's not gonna do um, that like it's not gonna like the server or anything if I'm not around Okay, we're back. So let me stick down the basic inner. Oh crap. They're gonna <laughs> They're, they're see-through. I forgot about that. So uh, let me go ahead and kill the dirt here now uh, these guys I wanted to upgrade them, but I'm actually out of gold which kind of stinks uh, But what we can do is uh, Eventually, I'll be able to upgrade these guys to the better actual energy cubes. I just need some gold first um, So what I figure for now, we'll just go ahead and stick down the basic energy cubes and this should be fine Let's see one two three four. Oh, I have six of these guys. I didn't even realize I guess I could go Let's go make one more real quick and uh, See if we can do this. Let's see one uh, we need uh, these guys, these guys, one, two, three, and four, and then two pieces of iron. There we go. So we have another basic energy cube. And then what I want to do is just hook up this power directly. I mean, I had this little temporary thing. Oh, also, uh, this guy uh, produces something called substrate, and I used actual pipes to transfer power. And then also, it'll transfer the items over here as well. So uh, that actually works out really good. Um, now let us uh, I guess get rid of this guy. Oh, no, I don't want to do that I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and do some of this action uh, Let's get rid of this guy and then we just want to hook this guy pretty much basically up and then we will be good Let's do let's see universal cable. We want to uh, do along like so and then there we go This should have power everything should be good. Uh, we should oh no, nope, that's not what I want to do Okay, so the setup is kind of complete. I just want to kind of do uh, the basic stuff and show you guys how it worked and things like that. Okay, we're back. So, uh, I've done a little changes. So, I, this thing, the power's on the back. We had like the wires underneath, but uh, yeah, the power's on the back. So, I kinda, it, that kind of sucks that we have to use the back right here and I can't just pull from any side that I want to. Um, also, we have a baby stegosaurus. Oh my god, this guy is so cute and like QB. Look at his spikes. His spikes is so cuby. They're like little mini triangles. Look at them. They're, they're, they look sweet. <laughs> but level, oh, it's a male. Uh, day zero. I said level zero. Day zero male. Uh, 20 health, 3.37 attack, and 0.44 speed. Uh, is there any information? Yeah. Now, uh, its array of plates and spikes has been the subject of much speculation. The spikes are most likely used for defense, while the plates have also been proposed as a defensive mechanism, as well as having to display, uh, having display and thermoregulatory functions. I actually was just reading something about this. Um, Stegosaurus, meaning roof lizard, in the reference to its bony plates, is a genus of. Uh, 
armored uh, stegosaurid dinosaur. Uh, yeah, anyways, they lived in the late Jurassic and that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, actually, uh, the Stegosaurus, from what I've read, is it, I think what it did to th uh, regulate its actual body temperature is it uh, with the outside of air or something like that, it would gush blood up into its spikes, and the spikes would kind of like cool or heated or whatever. Anyways, it's kind of cool. I thought it was kind of neat. This guy looks really cute when he's uh, small. I, I just kind of want to keep, keep him small. Um, but I figured, let's go ahead, and he's going to be kind of big, isn't he? Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to stick him over here by himself until we can build a thing big enough. But hey, what's up? Run free, Stego. Run free. Um, I need a name for this guy. If you guys have any cool name suggestions for the Stegosaurus, then that would be freaking amazing, and I would appreciate it so much. Uh, but we're going to let him run free for a little bit. Actually, let's check on our Carno. Um, oh, our Carno's getting a little bigger. Uh, Glacier, you are the reincarnation of Glacier. Also, uh, Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Craft just came out with a new mod version um, I saw and uh, apparently it's really cool but it's only for 1.8 I'm pretty sure uh, anyways what I was talking about is uh, the power here goes on the back um, I've also I guess I, oh yeah I made a gas tank and I put it right here yeah I've made a gas tank and I've put it right here and uh, this guy it just flows uh, the actual ethylene inside the gas tank and I, I'm just using this as kind of like a buffer so once all these guys finally fill up they'll kind of like just buffer into this so we'll have extra ethylene or whatever apparently according to the wiki uh, one of these guys this crusher on uh, speed 3 and then this setup can actually power like 70 generators. So I don't know how many generators my guy can actually power. Because we have a problem where our uh, main source or our main source of actual biofuel isn't renewable right now. Uh, we need to make our mob farm bigger or we need to get automated actual uh, uh, farming systems. So we need to get into pneumatic craft. Uh, so we need, need to do one of those two things so we can actually uh, get biofuel all the time. We might actually get into pneumatic craft here soon. I also, like I said at the beginning, want to get into uh, uh, applied energistics soon, but I don't think we have enough time today to actually do applied energistics. Uh, but these guys produce 320 RF a tick, I think. Let's see. Uh, max output, actually it says uh, max output 564 RF a tick. Uh, so each of these, let's just say they're 500. We have 10 of them right here, so that's 5,000 RF a tick pretty much, uh, which is pretty sweet. All these guys have kind of buffered. They're all filled up with energy. So right now the ethylene is kind of buffering. Um, the only problem is it takes priority with the first thing. Uh, so it's sticking most of the ethylene in this first one, and then it's kind of like going down the tube slightly and doing the rest of these guys. Uh, it's not really, there's not really, I guess, a round robin, but it seems actually to be doing the job pretty de decently, so I'm not complaining. Uh, anyways, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call the video there. Uh, we got a Stegosaurus. We'll check it out, what it's, uh, like, how big it is next time. I'm pretty sure Stegosaurus is get pretty big, but I don't know how big they are in, like, this mod or whatever. I'm really glad that mobs don't target uh, the dinosaurs, or that would be really bad, because then I have to do anti, like, mob defense stuff. Actually, speaking of that, uh, let's look up... Um turret uh we need to do this actually i was looking there's a tier one turret it's a uh it's like a potato turret which i thought was really funny we might make that i think that would be really cool but alien i think alien or sidarius one uh sidarius one has like full laser turrets uh which looks sweet and it does a lot of damage too like in my armor right here it like killed my boots and it did like have a heart per hit and they fired pretty fast uh so that's pretty funny um and they just look sweet i think they use a lot of power though so we're gonna have to wait until we get into like the reactors or whatever uh which might be decently soon i'd say within the next 10 ep episodes we might have reactors maybe maybe more maybe less i don't know uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. I love y'all's faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one.